The teams will see some pictures and clips, mainly of people partaking in the classic British pastime, looking upset and pointing at stuff. <laughs> <laughs> Each one has a different complaint behind it. All they need to do is work out what the complaint is. There's points for correct answers, of course, but tonight I'll also be awarding bonus point for pettiness and passion. Okay, <laughs> bear that in mind. Okay. OK, Sarah, Isham, here is your first one. Oh. What do you reckon? What's led to this aggrieved-looking lady to pose like that? Is her hat leaking? <laughs> <laughs> has, she, has she bought an umbrella from Etsy? <laughs> <laughs> What do you reckon, how, Susie? My granddad was shot 150 times during the war and this helmet saved him. <laughs> <laughs> oh, let's have a, a definitive answer from you. It, it could be a new episode of some gardening programme and Alan Titchmarsh told me this was going to be a waterfall or something. Well, you won't be surprised to hear that that is incorrect. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> I will tell you exactly what happened to this poor lady in Kent. She was forced to protect herself from seagull attacks in her garden by wearing a colander on her head. Oh, okay. <laughs> she pleaded with the local council to get people to stop feeding the birds as they were becoming a menace. And nothing says, heed my words, I'm a very serious woman more than wearing a kitchen utensil on your head as you run through the garden to get your washing in like the opening scenes of Saving Private Ryan. <laughs> <laughs> they are dangerous, though, seagulls, aren't they? They are. They're oh, notorious. One chat on me when I was a teenager and it was like a cup full. It was oh, so much oh, 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 wow. And it went like... It was in the 90s and it went all the way across my waistcoat. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> and I was sort of retching on the bus. Oh. And I, I got out... I had impulse in my bag <laughs> for, you know, yeah. so that men could find me irresistible. <laughs> and I thought, I'll just spray on the top of all the shit. And I got home and my dad was so appalled that I thought it was disgusting. And, he, and my dad said, well, it's just chewed fish. As if it was the same, as if I just... Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's cheese fish that's come out of a seagull's horse. Yeah. It's not the same thing at all. <laughs> <laughs> OK, Susie and Hal, here's one for you. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> really angry, look at that. Is he <clears throat> complaining that his falcon hasn't come back? <laughs> <laughs> it's the most depressing high street I've ever seen in my oh, life. Yeah. I've not even got a Londis. Oh. What's he pointing? What do you think he's pointing at? Is he pointing at the line? He's pointing at the manhole. He's pointing at the pavement. The manhole, maybe. I once fell down a manhole. Did yeah. you? Yeah. Is that when you experimented with your sexuality? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Basically, what happened was it was on a school trip. We we're on our way to a farm, and there was this manhole cover that had been taken off, oh, and I no. didn't see. And I was falling in, and then I got stuck because I'm fat. Oh. And then my, my uh, teacher was like, well, thank God you're a big lad, eh? Wow. <laughs> yeah, oh, so I got case. wedged and then, like, three... What? I got wedged and three people were trying to lift me up and they were like, you're quite heavy to lift. I'm like, I'm not going to stay here forever. Yeah. Something needs to happen. I think it, I think it took... Did they, did they have to sort of lube you out? <laughs> there, there, was, there were threats of that happening. When you came out, did it go... <laughs> <laughs> I got stuck in a water slide in Portugal once. That was the worst day of my life. Just halfway down, it, uh, no! it, just, it just sort of suddenly stopped sliding. Oh, no! Oh, did the water... Because the water couldn't go underneath The water sort of carried on going around <laughs> me. Oh, and... <laughs> I was there. I thinking, this is the worst thing that's ever happened. And then I heard someone else coming. Yeah, oh, the next oh, blow was coming down. And I thought at a moment of thinking, well, he'll either, fr like, free me... Yeah. ...and then we'll just <laughs> get down to the bottom and say no more about it. But actually what happened was he sort of ended up sort of straddling me. <laughs> <laughs> He's like... Either side, and we just did the rest of the slides together. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> right, what do you reckon then? What's he complaining about? Hasn't it got to be that he's fallen off his bike over a manhole? Is it that simple? Yeah, I think it's, it's, good. it's uneven yeah. road, and he's. Is it uneven in that it makes a noise every time a car goes over it? Because oh, I yeah. used to live near one of those, and you sort of mm. tune them out eventually, but initially it's really irritating the kudunk every time. Uh, I'll tell you what, Sarah, you just got yourself a point. <laughs> Well done. This retired builder was upset because a clanking manhole was keeping his grandchildren awake at night. Right, Sarah and Ishan, here's another one for you. Uh, what's the complaint behind this sign? <laughs> <laughs> I feel like it's a swimming pool or a gym or a spa mm -hmm. and he's using the hairdryer for the wrong hair. <laughs> <laughs> I don't see what the issue is, cos when I was... <laughs> no, <sorry. laughs> 
Because <laughs> when I was 12, that's what I thought a blowjob was. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but... Is that not what a blowjob is? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, Sarah, you bang on. But it's absolutely spot on. Yay. One point for Sarah, well done. Can I say what's creepy about this picture, by the way? The eye contact. <laughs> See, the eyes follow you around the room, all three of them. <laughs>